So let me call on your radical, the great American selfish plague. It's selfish. Literally. You can't walk on the road. These people won't even... I mean, I've had truckers. They'll, swore, they'll try to hit you. Hit you. I had an Uber driver last night. I'm standing there waving. Parks a block away. Can't you see me? If they're hypnotized. This populace is complete. Everybody says, oh, what's the matter? Fucking selfishness. It's a selfish plague. Fucking, why is there not a bike lane here? The only people living here, you should see the fucking traffic here. Holy fuck. You, I mean, walk. You can't ride your fucking bike. You will get killed. Literally, why is it, I mean, oh, nobody lives, fuck, are you kidding? Why is there not a bus that comes out here? Fuck, you know how many people are employed out there at the end of this fucking lake? Western Zirconium, making clad rides for fucking the nuclear cartel. The hate. These fucking sell one person, one fucking car, texting, oh yeah. Fucking talking on the phone, eating a fucking Big Mac. And then they wonder why they look the way they look. Where'd you sleep last night? You wouldn't believe what I find on the side of the fucking road. Molding has a fucking construction dump out here. That fucker. You know, you got to get way over in there. See how close he is? Doesn't even make an attempt. They don't even, this is, the truckers are the worst. They will literally swerve at you and try to hit you. You know, you got to dive into the weeds. That's what I do. You can't ride your bike. Forget it. One person, one car. One person, one car. No bus. Bike lane? How come there's not a bike lane and a walking path? Because the feds fucking gave him $20 million to put one here. Mike Lee and gang, he got $600,000 in a bank bill. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, that fraud. Because Weber County commissioners, Weber County Western Economic Development stole the money and they tell you right in your face, ha ha ha, fuck you, we stole the money, ha ha ha. When you have a populace that's so hypnotized, Orwell couldn't make this up, that they allow people to make a living off stealing other people's time. Oh, they deserve it. Yay, they were here first. No, they weren't here first. I was here first. Fuck, you wouldn't believe what I find on the side of the fucking... It's literally the filthiest place in the world. I mean, there's some guy that drives around out here. Every day there's new Bud Light Keystone. Keystone. That's not even beer. There's Keystone by the thousands. And this has been going off years. In ditches, on side room. Every night there's new ones. Every morning. You know, so this guy drives around and just throws Keystone cans out all fucking day, every day. That's the place that we live in. It's a selfishness plague. It's a plague of selfishness. I used to ride my bike. You can't ride your bike. You know? These kids, I like it. Oh, you capitalism. This isn't capital. Where do you get off? This is colonialism. We redistribute $3 trillion a fucking year. $3 trillion. Excuse me. $4 trillion we redistribute through taxes. No, through debt. Yet, I talked to this fucking neocon. I mean, you got the well petters and the hypocrites and the fucking greenwashers watching the New York Times tell you they need to blow up down as an idol because the salmon crops. Then you got the right wingers. Taxes are theft, he tells me. Okay. I'm in with that. What about, you know, because I don't want my taxes paying for this war machine. What about the military? Oh, yeah, 100%. Well, how the fuck are you going to pay for that? This is how they talk out of both sides of their fucking face. This is not capitalism, no form of capitalism. Fuck, you wouldn't believe what I find today. It's a selfish plague. It's a giant selfish, me, me, me. They will swerve at you and try to hit you. And these are people that know me. They, I grew up here, I bet, fuck, go to the cemetery. Look at the guy's last name. First whitey buried there. Shot through the heart. Sleeping on a park barking. You know, try to lower my fucking footprint. Try to do the right thing. Why is there not a fuck? Look at this. Why is there not a fucking bike lane? Some of these guys fucking, they'll get it. You know, if there's not another car coming over here, that I mean, because these people can't see the trees through the dead forest. Where'd you sleep last night? They can't see the tree through the dead forest. These people are this, it's a immature, like little fuck. What an what a insult to a little kid. These baby boomers and echo boomers are that fucking sub. They're gonna be the next Cinderella. They're gonna be the next King James. Billionaire baseball. Yay, they're branded. I got a tattoo of the cowboys on my ass. I got a dolphin on my fucking ass. 
You saw the whale on her freaking stomach down there. Clueless. How can they fucking fight for the animals? How can anybody fight for the animals? When they refuse to even fucking respect their own fellow human beings. They give a shit about, they don't give a shit about themselves. How are they going to fight for fucking the ecology and the environment and the animals? They don't care about themselves. If you don't believe me, look at them. The self-internalization of the stripe, the piercing, the fucking tattoo, the fucked up, I mean, the obesity. They don't care. They have no self-respect, no honor, no dignity, no integrity, and stand up for integrity. The nail stacks up. They stole my fucking house, my big house, which was paid for, sold it. He calls himself President Bailey. Hi, fucking this, he's a thief. I'm pre president of what? I'm a stake Mormon. You ain't no Mormon. It's like they fucking wrap up a Christianity. You'll say, well, what about usury? These are people that claim they're fucking Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ followers. What's usury? You know they have buy here, payday joints here? 580%. I thought Jesus Christ, I'm not talking about the son of God. I'm talking about the activists that went in there and threw the money changers out of the temple. This is the bird capital of the world was. I talked to a socioeconomic professor the other day, and she's like, at Weber State. She had this bear of a bird. I says, my uncle was the thing. Oh, who's that? She tried to quiz me. His name was Jack Allen. Oh, that had to be before that. No, before, after, and during the fucking flood. She never obviously been out. I said, you know how low it is? You're telling me? Have you sent, been to Farmington Bay? There is no Farmington Bay. Have you been out and fucking any bird counts? No. Where's the Jane Goddles of the wall? Well, that's a fucking real PhD. Where's the Kevin Blanche of the fucking world? They don't do any field work. They sit around and just fucking grin and fucking pat themselves off. That's not a kid. Scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped, they're perplexed. Starving to death animals. Fucking the free mount that's pouring in the Pacific Ocean. Oh no, nothing to fucking see. This is a fucking selfish epidemic from hell. From hell. It's just pure selfishness. That's all it is. I want to say this. I want to get a call out to the gay community. The LBGT community. You guys are circling, you're getting to be this lobbyist power. And yeah, I really could give a shit about anybody's sexuality. You looked at people in the mirror, think about it. Somebody asked me, what do you think about homosexuality? I says, not very often. I says, what do you mean? I says, you heterosexual, homosexual, I don't give a shit who they're having sex with. Think about what they look like. If I visualize that in my head, heterosexual, bisexual, any of it, I'll talk about nightmares I'd have. I'm gonna be able to sleep for fucking months. Where are you on the environment? Where are you on the environment? Where's the radical right? Oh, Jesus coming back. You, you, usury. It's a giant selfish plague. How come there's no fucking bike here? How come there's no fucking walking fucking path? There was supposed to be. How come there's no fucking bus? Because they stole the fucking money. Or well on Balco. It becomes as natural as occupying a fucking burger refuge. What's that? Or well. 19, 1984 and 1948. It becomes as natural as unleashing cattle on the Argentine landscape. They've been watching Bonanza and Hee Haw. All these fuckers have come out and say, I'm a rancher and a farmer, grew up in a fucking subdivision, in a fucking house, went to Ben Loman or Ogden fucking high. They grew up out here. The farm kids were fucking like me. Fucking. We didn't ride a horse. We're not cowboys. No. We were working kids. We worked. We hoed fucking beets. We hoed fucking tomatoes. We threw fucking bells of hay with our hand, not fucking. He loved his cow. He loved his fucking air conditioned, fucking exploited labor fucking plow. Kavanaugh, the fucking great harvest. It's a selfish, selfish epidemic. They don't care. Stealing fucking your own fucking money. Politicians, low. what's property tax? Keep the interest rate low, just steal your fucking money. I don't blame police. It's bigger than that. I mean, politicians? <laughs> I blame the grassroots. There are, I can't betray us. Everybody betrayed us. Operation Foxconn News. They think cattle's natural. They think cows are natural here. No, they're not. I'll tell you a story about West Weaver. You want to read a good book? Below Ben Loman Peak. Daughters of Utah Pioneers.
So this road wasn't here until 1971. I've been going up through here. My grandparents up there, the organic farmers, Tracy family, the Huntsaker family, the I mean, all sides. Born and raised, the wigwams were still here when I was a kid. We were taught to, I mean, very native belief system. By immigrants. Long time ago, not that long ago. So the very first person was a guy named Bybee out here. He'd run cattle out here, 1848. The winter of 1848 was big because they couldn't get out here to check on him and his family. He was out here and he would run cattle down below where I was at. My grandmother's journal says that she would hide me when the natives would come around, talk to her dad, the little soldier, the Shoshone, Chief Cherokee they murdered. So, Stewart shot him in the head. I could smoke the peace pipe with her own car. She said she would, the, we call it grease oak. This was all grease oak, all sagebrush. was still there when I was a kid. Jackrabbits, muskrats. John Weaver said more birds here than anywhere on, on earth. He said it was the most beautiful climb. Who's the savage? 200 years ago, Jim Bridger and Dan were ravishing the first of all marsh. Still, the wigwams were still there when I was a kid. They finally got out here. Later that year, they couldn't get out here. They got out here, and the very first person that lived in all of Weber County, a dwelling, even before, he did, wasn't born here, he wasn't from here. He was the nuclear clan, the Wattis clan, goes back to the Bybee clan. They got out there by the West Weber Church where it was their homestead was, and they were froze to death. There you go. <laughs> Doesn't take long. The great